I gotta start off with the, the odd note that came out like a month ago about uh, it got a lot of play about drinking urine. So explain how that came out, kind of the benefits. I mean, every morning he wakes up and he drinks his first urine of the day. All right, you guys say that very matter of fact. Yeah. It's it's a bit odd. You do realize that. Well, yeah, it's urine therapy. It's it's, it's a, a therapy that uh, you know, it's a Japanese therapy. It is what it is. So what what does it actually do? Keep you fine. Okay. Yeah, it's like a filter. Like a filter. Okay. Yeah. When you urine, there is a lot of protein, vitamin C, G, A, and you know what I mean? You can put it in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's functional like a food. All right. How about vitamins? That, could that work instead? Well, it, it is. But I mean, <laughs> next question. <laughs> <I just> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there is a lot of hormones. There's okay. a lot of hormones okay. in yeah. urine that aren't in vitamins. Okay. Um, one, one more on it. What, what is it? What does it taste like? I mean, that's it's got a kind of gross. Yeah. Sometimes uh, it depends on what you eat. The day before. Okay. Yeah. If you eat protein, it's very amargo. Sour. Yeah. It's very sour if you eat a lot of protein. If you eat the carb, carbohydrate is less sweet, sweet because yeah. of the sugar, sweet. because the carbs break yeah. down in the sugar. Okay. All right, I'm sold. I'm doing it tomorrow. Try it. Yeah? yeah. Are you going to try it? <laughs> no. That's, I, 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 I don't think I can stomach it. It's only the first of the day. Yeah. So you, you're in a little bit, and then you put the rest in the cup. All right. What if you're a heavy drinker, though? So I live out here in Vegas, so I could get ugly. My, what I get oh, drunk man. in the morning, yeah. I don't know. Why don't you try it out? <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's break down the fight a little bit. Okay. Um, I heard some questions when you are doing the, the bigger Q&A about lack of respect. Um, you guys do know that actually here in Las Vegas that Lyoto is a, a two, he's actually a two-to-one favorite. So yeah. what do you think of that? What's the impression off of that? Keep the glass with yourself up on It's good, but uh, I'm looking for don't think about it. Because if I think about that, it's bad for my fight. Rasha is a great fight, he's a tough fighter. And when both fighters enter the octagon, 15% for each fighter. Break him down in terms of his style. Does he have a style now? Has he changed over the course of, say, the last 18 months, you know, two years? Yeah, he has a new style. He has a new style. He has a new style. He a lot. He changed a lot, his style. When he started, he more wrestling. Now, his stand-up is good. That's it. Okay. Um, your stance, obviously, is a, a unique stance, you know, the karate-based stance. What should he do in terms of moving to stay out of the way if you were fighting you? Aí ele falou assim, você estava lutando contra você, o que você mandava ele fazer para evitar ele levar para de você? Se eu lutar com você, eu vou perder. Very similar. It's, uh, Anderson Silva says the same thing. He actually says he doesn't want to fight himself. Um, I noticed on a video uh, that came out earlier in the week that you guys are working with uh, Satoshi Ishii, who is the uh, Olympic gold medalist in judo. How did that come together? Ishii, he, he's a great uh, fight. He's a good, good judo. He's an Olympic level and he helped me in the clinch, he helped me in the ten, couple taking downs and it was great for for my performance for my audition and I'm ready. How did he feel? Because I you know the, I was surprised you guys released the, the clip of video. because um, he, he was he was doing a pretty good job on top of you. He was really giving you the business. 
É, como você sentiu? Ele estava realmente treinando muito com você, quando ele estava em cima de você, ele estava tentando te pegar mesmo. Eu me sinto confortável, porque eu treino jiu-jitsu há muitos anos. O Xiu é bom, mas ele começou agora, e eu tenho mais experiência do que ele. I noticed you didn't sit there and kick him, which yeah. I think you probably would have had an easier time kicking him than grappling with him. Yeah, I thought I noticed you didn't have a shot or anything. At least in the video, it didn't appear. Because I, I didn't want to show. <laughs> yeah. You showed some pretty good stuff when you were doing the yeah. kicking drills. I, I got a little afraid even watching it. That was a pretty dangerous stuff. I thought that you were doing the manopla that you were doing, but it was a little dangerous to watch. The way you were kicking was bad. We'll see you next Saturday. Okay. Uh, let's close on this because I, I, I do think it's interesting the Brazilian mindset because we've heard you guys say in the past. I'm not putting a blanket over everyone. But we've heard you say in the past that you're not comfortable fighting other Brazilians. Yeah, slowly but surely, we're seeing some different people kind of change the tone on that. We've seen Tiago Alves, you know, said he'll fight anybody, um, and now Vanderlei. So what's Leota's Impression of what, what is it changing now? Where there's no brother, but querendo lutar com outros brasileiros, ou você sente que você prefere lutar com brasileiros? Está mudando, tanto faz. Não, tanto faz. I don't, I don't choose my opponent. Doesn't matter if he's a Brazilian, if he's a American, Japanese. I want to fight. Okay. Because it's a, it's a business. I have to protect myself. Myself. All right. Good luck. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you.